In our previous class, we had seen how to create the ORDS REST API with just few button clicks with the help of SQL developer and fetch the details with the help of API something like this and show in the browser window all the details in the JSON format. In this class, we will see how to make use of the Postman and work with the ORDS. In this class, we are not covering the authentication part, but rather we are just seeing how we can call the ORDS REST API with the help of Postman. Suppose if you have missed to watch the previous class, just check out the class before watching this class. Here I will give the short glimpse on how to get the URL for your ORDS. Once you get into your Oracle database, in my case it is the ATP, just click on this and click on the rest from the database action, it will open up this page. Here you will get the URL, just copy this from here. We can just search for the metadata catalog, whatever we get from rest interface, that is when we copy. So this will give at the high level, this is one of the APIs with the help of which you can get all the details from your database, that is all the records. Suppose if you want to know all the APIs available in your ORDS for this particular table in our case, you can just search for this open API table link and it will open all the APIs available. So if you just copy and paste it in some notepad, you will get all the APIs or the paths available like the delete, get, post, put, all those things. So in this class, we will just consider one of the case that is how to get all the details from the database provided we provide the query parameter and filter based on our employee ID. So first thing is we have to copy the URL from here and create the Postman project. I will create the Postman project now. I have created a Postman project that is I have copy pasted the URL from here that is the base URL and I will just click on send. As of now, we don't have any authorization part covered. So our ORDS application are created without any ORDS security. That is when we just created our ORDS that is enable services, we did not check mark this authorization required. We have unchecked that. In our subsequent classes, we will see this as well. So here we will be getting the details of all the employees. Right now we are having record for five employees in our database and we are getting details for all. Suppose if you want to get the details of only one particular employee, then we can make use of the query parameter Q. So it will be by default created when we enable the REST interface for our table that is Q parameter. Here what I will write is Q is equal to then we have to construct the JSON object and we have to provide the key value pair that is employee ID that is within the code then the colon and the 101. We will fetch the details for Rahul. Click on send. When we click on send, we will be getting the details for only Rahul, provided you will be having the JSON response limit, offset and the count and also has more with the help of which you can navigate between the REST API responses and it will be useful while you create the pagination in your user interface. So like this, we can make use of Postman and we can work with the ORDS API seamlessly. Suppose if you are able to consume any REST API with Postman, you will be able to consume that particular API from any product or application of your choice which supports REST web service calls.